My name is Miss Althea. I'm so glad that you're all here. You've made today a special day just by being near. So pick your spot, get cozy. It's almost story time. Cecil and I are about to start because that's the end of our rhyme. Hello and welcome to story time, everyone. My name is Miss Althea. This is my friend Cecil, and today's story comes from my personal home library collection. So I hope you enjoy today's story, Not Quite Narwhal by Jesse Seema. Not Quite Narwhal by Jesse Seema. Kelp was born deep in the ocean. He knew early on that he was different from the other narwhals. His tusk wasn't as long as everyone else's. He had different tastes in foods and he wasn't a very good swimmer. But his friends didn't seem to mind, so Kelp decided he wouldn't either. That is, until he was swept away by a strong current. I wish I were a better swimmer. Kelp found himself at the surface, closer to land than he had ever been before. High up on a cliff, he spotted a mysterious, sparkling creature. It looked so familiar. It looked like, like kelp. Kelp swam towards land as fast as he could, which wasn't very fast at all, hoping that he could catch up with the creature that looked just like him. When he finally reached the shore, Kelp felt a little bit anxious. He had never left the ocean. He was nervous about walking for the first time, but the land creatures made it look so easy. It wasn't. Ow. Eventually, though, he got the hang of it. Everything on land was strange and beautiful but also kind of scary. Kelp began to think he might never find the creature that looked just like him. But as he stumbled out of the forest, land narwhals. Uh, actually, we're unicorns. And by the looks of it, so are you. Kelp had never 
heard of unicorns before. They taught him all sorts of things about his tusk. We call them horns. Wow. They introduced him to unicorn delicacies, fun, delicious things to eat. And they showed him how to gallop. There was no doubt that Kelp was, in fact, a unicorn. He was having so much fun that he didn't want to leave. But then he remembered all of his friends under the sea. Kelp missed them terribly. So he said goodbye to the unicorns and returned to the ocean. Come back soon. Kelp swam towards home as fast as he could, which wasn't very fast at all. Hoping that the Nars, ooh, hoping that the narwhals would still like him now that he was a unicorn. When he finally arrived, Kelp had butterflies in his stomach. Kelp, welcome home. Kelp took a deep breath and told his friends the news. It turns out I'm not a narwhal. Of course you aren't. I'm a unicorn. We all knew that. They took it quite well. Kelp was happy to be home, but now that he'd experienced life on land with the unicorns, he couldn't seem to forget them. Did he want to be a land narwhal with the unicorns? Or be a sea unicorn with the narwhals? Kelp couldn't decide. But then, he realized that maybe, just maybe, he didn't have to choose. Thank you so much for joining us. Until next week or next time at the library, we hope you have a magical day.